Hi folks, Tim Conti here, contact center expert. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. If you're interested in generative AI and how that impacts your contact center, if you have a contact center, I assume you do if you're watching this video, uh, then you're in the right place. So in this video, first we're gonna talk about generative AI in general. It's a type of artificial intelligence that uses machine learning and algorithms to generate new content, such as images, music, text, or even an entire conversation. Unlike other forms of AI, it makes predictions based on existing data. Generative AI is designed to create new content that mimics human creativity is not limited to predefined responses or actions. This process allows generative AI to continuously improve output and create content that becomes increasingly realistic and indistinguishable from that created by humans. So you might be wondering now, how is generative AI relevant in your contact center, especially after that very long technical <laughs> description? Well, in fact, there are several uh, advantages to looking at generative AI in your contact center. First, personal customer interactions. Generative AI can analyze your customer data and generate personalized responses based on individual preferences. That is very relevant in the contact center. This allows for more tailored and relevant customer interaction, enhancing the overall customer experience, which is what we're after, a positive customer experience, right? The second way is to improve efficiencies and cost savings. Contact centers often handle large volumes of customer inquiries, and I'm sure your contact center does as well. Generative AI can automate responses to FAQs, freeing up your contact center live agent resources. This reduces the workload for human agents. Also leads to improved efficiency and faster response time, which is what we're all after. And then cost savings by reducing the need to hire and train additional staff, which is especially relevant in today's contact center environment with churn. Also 24 by seven avail availability. Generative AI can operate around the clock, allowing contact centers to provide service to customers at any time. It eliminates the need for shift rotations or staffing during off-peak hours, ensuring customers can get support whenever they need it and how they need it, which is very important. The fourth way is consistency and accuracy. Human agents can introduce inconsistencies or errors when they're responding to your clients due to human limitations or subjective interpretation, excuse me. Generative AI, on the other hand, can provide consistent and accurate information to customers the same way every time, ensures that everyone receives the same quality service, um, no matter what they're calling in about. Number five, the fifth way is multilingual support. Generative AI can be easily programmed to communicate in multiple languages, enabling contact centers to provide support to customers worldwide without the need for language specific agents. This one is huge. This expands the reach of the businesses and enhances their global customer service capabilities. The sixth way is continuous learning and improvement. Generative AI in your contact center can learn from previous interactions, customer feedback and agent customer interactions. This enables it to continuously improve its responses and adapt to a changing customer needs. This results in better customer satisfaction rates over time. So overall, generative AI in your contact center enables businesses to deliver more personalized, efficient, and consistent customer service while reducing cost and increasing customer satisfaction. Generative AI offers several advantages in a contact center. You should definitely consider it when you're looking at either staffing up your organization or you're looking to make a change in your contact center. What's very attractive about this solution is that you can start small. You can implement generative AI. Um, there's a number of vendors that'll actually come in over the top of your existing uh, voice infrastructure for contact center. This eliminates the needs you have to do a rip and replace. Maybe you have an Avaya contact center or a Genesis contact center, or who knows what contact center you have. It doesn't matter. There's vendors um, out there in the market, some you've heard of, others uh, you potentially have not, that can layer in over the top so there's no disruption to your business. So I'm going to also share my screen here because you're probably also wondering, okay, Tim, 
who are these generative AI contact center vendors and, and how can I evaluate this market to see if it's a good fit for my contact center? Well, I'm glad you asked and I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna share my screen here. And let's see, give me one second here. Close that, open this. Okay, hopefully go back and share again. Okay, here we go. So when you're looking at this market, there's a couple of um, things to consider uh, as relates to generative AI. This is our on-demand um, decision-making tool that helps contact center leaders evaluate the contact center vendors. You can, of course, do, do the research on your own, and no doubt you'll do that. You probably Google generative AI contact center vendors or something like that. You probably put something in the YouTube, um, which is why you're watching this video as well, and why our video came up. But what you see here is this is a snapshot of all the vendors serving the market. There are niche players like Observe AI. There are also Gartner Magic Quadrant leaders, uh, such as Nice in Contact, Genesis, and five nines to name a few. But where do you start? And especially if you're just looking for AI in the contact center, there's a lot of different solutions out there. And you're probably, if you're a contact center leader, you're probably getting marketing messages on a daily basis about AI. But here's what's different with our video. We're going to help you in a short amount of time, narrow down the right AI solution within a contact center, um, which is a bit different. So what we do here is under this artificial intelligence offering on the left here, this is the abil also our ability to down select your environment, meaning we plug in your variables or what you're looking for. And then it's going to produce a research report that's customized to you. And everyone loves custom research. I know I do. So we'll choose agent assist, which is an AI feature, um, agent coaching, chatbots. I'm actually going to select them all. Personality routing, real-time sediment analysis, voice bots, workforce management, and workflow automation. So we check those four boxes. If you notice when I was checking those, these vendors are going to re-rank themselves in terms of their ability to support these features and these requirements. Okay. So then from here, it gets better. We generate this matrix and you get out of the cream rises to the crop, we to the top, <laughs> cream rises to the crop. I don't even know what that means. Um, the cream rises to the top in that we've down selected based on these AI features, which vendors can fulfill it. You see Avaya, CBT, I should probably not familiar with, it's the former Cincinnati Bell. Now, what we do now is we use our 15 years of industry experience in contact centers um, to further down select the market based on our just knowledge of the space and the vendors. So nothing against Granite, awesome company based in Boston. They do um, predominantly POTS line replacement. Um, but I'm going to eliminate them. I'm not going to choose Granite for my contact center. I also, as much as I like Avaya, two bankruptcies and counting, plus I've got some opinions there because I used to work at Avaya. Um, they're really still flushing out their uh, AI strategy or really just their cloud strategy in general. So I'm going to eliminate Avaya. I'm also going to eliminate CBTS. And that gives me, surprise, surprise, the Gartner leaders left over because they went eight for eight, eight for eight, eight for eight. What that means is these eight features, they support them all. So instead of going all the way down the path with this provider and you have an idea of where you want your contact center to be, only to find in the 11th hour, they can't support some of the key features you're looking for in your contact center. That's just a waste of time. So what we know now is of these eight AI features, these are good uh, potential fits to look at. And then we also do the niche providers um, as well that you might not have heard of uh, but doesn't mean they're doing a bad job in the space. Like some of these actually, because they're smaller and, and more nimble, can can provide uh, exceptional customer service. And they also don't have the baggage of an old contact center technology to worry about. Some of these guys are building AI um, solutions from the ground up. But what you see here is a 27 criteria uh, research report that's custom to you that talks about everything you would possibly wanna know about the contact center space when you're looking at these vendors. So what key acquisitions have they made? Where are their data centers located? 
Uh, can you bring your own carrier? What are their voice options? What are their digital channels, their social channels? What CRM integrations do they have? Are they Microsoft Teams certified? What cloud app integrations do they support? What AI offerings we mentioned here? So here's the AI piece, which is really attractive. You can really get a deep dive into what each of these vendors are doing for AI. So compliance is a big one. If your contact center needs to be compliant, um, you want to choose a vendor that's compliant in your space for HIPAA, for healthcare, for instance. Uh, a bit about implementation and what's their differentiators? If they met you in an elevator, um, what's their elevator pitch? So that's everything that you get in this research report. And if you'd like, um, I've got a uh, an offer for you today. If you like, just drop a comment in the section saying, please reach out. And then someone, either myself or someone from my team will reach out to you. And what we'll do is we'll actually put your environment into our tool and produce this report for you free of charge. Uh, we'll have a quick conversation on what your needs and goals are. During our call, I'll go through this opportunity criteria. I'll plug in your variables. I'll hit generate report. I'll PDF it uh, for you and then set it to you while we're on the call. So at a minimum, no matter where you are in your journey, assuming you haven't made a decision yet in implementing generative AI, or maybe you did and it's not working well, um, what you just need to do is drop um, a, a comment in there or tim at improvedcustomerexperience.com is the email. I'll include that as well. Reach out to us. We'll plug in your variables of your environment, get, deliver a custom report free of charge. Um, it's a first come first serve basis. We're booking two weeks out. So get on our schedule as quickly as you can. And we will talk to you soon. And good luck with your AI contact center journey. Thanks and have a good day.